We got a lot of questions this week about ticklish clits. What were you doing? It's so rude. Well, tickle is good. See, I like tickle. I think what they're saying is that it's too much. It's sensitive. It's like and, they, and, they, and, they, and, they, and they're backing up or backing away from it. So, oh, clit guru, <laughs> what's going on and what's the problem uh, yeah. and how do we solve this? Okay, depending on if you've had several orgasms and you feel satisfied, that's the time where you can stop. What if I don't think I even had one? Oh, you have to keep going, darling. You must keep going. Back off, mm -hmm. go to the side, go down and get uh, vibrate another part of your body. Do your nose, whatever. But and why do women stop? What do you think that is? Oh, no. They stop after they have an orgasm. But why? I mean, I know I kind of do it too. You have one and then you stop. You're like, all right. It's because they're it. so hard to come by. Well, that's a metaphor. It's... <laughs> It's because it, just to have one, it's enough already. I've got a million things to do today, and I've just, that's it. I had my orgasm. See you later. Bye. Bye. That's it. This is definitely. And men come once. This is the male model. I, Women are patterning their sex after men. Yes. We're completely different. We're made different. We do it different. You're not going to fall asleep after. You're going to feel no. more energized. Very often. And want more sex. I'll get up and clean the, a drawer. <laughs> exactly. You want more. So, you have an orgasm, the clitoris gets hypersensitive, back off, don't throw the vibrator to the side and go, oh, I'm done. I'm done. No, no, no. Wait a moment. Kind of keep your body moving. Definitely breathe. Continue with the breathing pattern. Run, run the vibrator up the front of your body. Mm -hmm. Put it on your nose. Sneeze. Run it back down and put Press it on. your nipples. Put it, right, brush a nipple. Put it back on your clit and go again. Or... You've had an orgasm, and you're not hypersensitive. You just pause a moment, and then go back. Stay with your clit, and what you're going to get then, or you're going to ride the waves of pleasure. This now, is, is that an aftershock? Is that what that they're yes, talking about? Yes, yes, yes. So you've had a, oh, 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 you've had a big orgasm, and then you kind of, oh, yes, and then you stay with it, and then you go, oh, 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 and they'll get these little. Little, it's the autonomic nervous system. It's still functioning, and you don't want to. You don't want to miss those because that's the good stuff. Oh, it's wonderful. That's it, the best part of being a woman, I think. That we just kind of bump it mm -hmm. It's you catch a wave, and you don't roll off of it immediately. Ride it on in. Ride it on in. The whole point of our sexuality is that when we come, the pump has been primed, and we are capable of going again and again and again and I explain to my young women all the time I used to masturbate for three and four hours and they go <laughs> that's what you do with your day off Saturday afternoon Sunday afternoon one evening you're home take a couple of hours three hours enjoy yourself exactly